Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. So this is my Christmas present unboxing video. I haven't actually taken it out of the box because I happened to have guessed what the Christmas present was. I think I dropped some pretty um, strong hints earlier in the year about what would be pretty cool to get for Christmas for my wife. And that is what she got me. I was able to guess and she let me know basically that yes. So I was like, ooh, hold on. I should open this and look at it for the first time in an unboxing video. So for people, <clears throat> excuse me. So for people who have been watching a lot of my channel and have seen my unboxings, you'll know that for my birthday, my wife got me a uh, replica phantasm sphere with the prongs and the drill coming out. If if you want to check that out, you can check on my channel. That video is there. Go ahead and look for that because it's really well done. It's done by Nightmares Unlimited. And this guy, Mark Phillips and his wife, they do some amazing work on these prop replicas. Now, they're not cheap prop replicas, but they are extremely well made. And that's the thing. Like, you can't buy something very well made that's going to last and look good and it be cheap. It's just, it's just not possible. So the way I kind of look at it is... If you're a person who's huge into horror, if you're a person who's into collectibles, if you're a person who goes to horror conventions and you spend money on autographs, I would advocate spending the money to get at least one of these prop replicas from him. He has an Etsy site, Nightmares Unlimited. Check it out. He's got some really cool stuff. He's got like Freddy gloves on there. He's got the Phantasm Spheres. He's got what I'm going to show you. And then he also has some kind of like hybrid things on there that it's like a mix between things like he has a phantasm sphere that has like the hooks coming out of it from um i think it's like a phantasm sphere uh lament configuration from hellraiser mixture something like that so here's the box that just showed up from a birthday present and my wife's pretty amazing how many wives out there would get their husband uh a phantasm sphere for their birthday and then this for Christmas. Now, I'm not saying what this is so that you guys can see, although some people may have kind of an idea. Oh, there's a display stand, which, oh, I didn't know they had a display stand with it, but, um, let me see if I can get the, okay, there we go. Smells fresh, painted. So you might be able to guess what it is based on the display stand. I'll put that over here. And here it is. Dun, 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 dun. Gonna, it's in a it's in all this bubble wrap and then on top of that it's in a bag so I'm gonna take it out of that because you don't need to see it in that it will obfuscate it ba ba oh it's a lament configuration what do you know from Hellraiser now sphere I love the sphere from Phantasm that was like my favorite thing and then I saw that he had just kind of started this year I think doing these. Um, lament configurations and he had told me that his wife was doing like all this um, metal work like the etchings here which he, he was kind of like I'm glad that she's down to do these because they take a lot of time and they're a pain and I don't want to do them so there you go this is amazing like it's metal like it's actual metal the, these portions it's not like a sticker or anything and this is like legitimate wood it's got some actual heft to it it feels great, and the designs look like the actual Lament configuration, which is phenomenal. Just show them to you again. There's like a, ooh, there's a little gaff on that. Ooh, that's actually kind of messed up. Um, but looking good. Yeah, there's a bit of a, there's a gouge on it right here. If you can see, I can see the wood through it. Something must have hit it or something, but, um... It looks good. And for display purposes, I, th I feel like this is how I would go with the display on this side just because that's the most recognizable pattern from it. That's the one that's all, like always on top that they're actually, you know, like moving the thumbs around to solve it. So, yeah. Um, so, I, mean, I guess in the stand, it would be something like this. Looks good, right? Looks very good. I like that smells like fresh freshly like lacquered wood and it's got like a you know it's got a shine to it i don't know if you can really see it in the video oh there you go you can see like there's a shine not just to the metal portion but there's a shine to the actual wood when the light goes over it so yeah it's legit and like i said it's got some actual like heft to it it's nice it's very nice i like this quite a bit yeah 
There's a lot of time that goes into these things. So anyway, uh, Nightmares Unlimited. Check them out for sure. Uh, big shout out, big thank you to my wife, Rebecca, who made this possible. Well, I mean, she didn't make it. She, like, she purchased it. So I guess I should thank Mark Phillips and his wife for making it possible because they made it available. So check out their Etsy page. Uh, I know that she had said they were actually pretty backlogged on orders because of October. So for Halloween, a lot of people ordered. So that's cool. It's good to hear that they're getting a lot of business from this stuff because it's really cool. They show up at um, the Monster Mania convention. I had actually talked to Mark and his wife when I was there to say how much I loved the Phantasm Sphere. And then I, I was looking at this there because they had kind of pointed out, oh, hey, we just started doing this. And I was like, oh, man, I was like, maybe I need to drop a hint to my wife. So the hint was taken. And here we have it. I'm very excited about this. This is actually something I've always wanted. I've said for a lot of years, at least five years now, probably, that one day I would really, really like to have like a quality lament configuration prop replica. And I've looked at other ones before. But I just haven't gone for it. So it's perfect for something like a Christmas present, birthday present, something like that. So I'm going to display this right next to my Phantasm Sphere. But yeah, I'm going to have to clear some stuff. That's the problem. But I will. Like things will go in the closet in order for me to fit this next to the Phantasm Sphere. Because those things go together in my opinion. Because those are my two favorite horror films really. Um, love it, love it. My two favorite uh, villains from horror films, too. The Tall Man and Pinhead. Yeah. So, awesome. Hopefully, people enjoyed this unboxing. You think this is quality stuff. Like I said, check out Nightmares, Un Nightmares Unlimited. Their Etsy page. I think they have a Facebook as well, so you can kind of see pictures of all the stuff that they're kind of doing. And uh, it's just fun to look at, especially all the mashups. Like, one of the ones I remember is they have, like, a, um, a Freddy Glove reanimator mashup which I think is super cool. And that's the other thing. I think they also do like some cases that have like the reanimator needle in it with like actual glowing green goo or serum inside. So they have a lot of stuff. Just check it out. There's something for everyone. Well, not everyone, but there's something for a lot of horror fans there. So anyway, thanks everyone for checking this out. Thank you, Nightmares Unlimited. Thank you, Rebecca, my wife. Put some comments down there. Your thoughts on all this stuff. Are you going to get one? Are you going to ask for one for anything? I would. It's a, it's a wish list item for sure. Um, hit that subscribe if you can though, help me out, uh, doing all these videos. I don't make money or anything. It's just surely, you know, a thing, but, uh, anyway, thanks for checking this out until next time. Keep it brutal.